your passion is crappie fishing, you've found your home. Sponsored by these great companies. Folks, you know that feeling you get right in the morning, right before you're about to go fishing, that giddy feeling? You know that feeling that kept you up all night long waiting for the next morning so you could go fish? That's how we feel right now at 3 Pound Fishing. We're excited about Ozark Rods in 2020. And let me tell you, this episode, it's about sharing the different jigging poles and the options you have with Ozark Rods. We're excited. We hope you are too. Do me a favor and subscribe. We're going to put some slabs in the boat. We're going to go through the different types of rods. And I'm telling you, it's that feeling you get before you're about to go hammer them on a lake in the morning. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe. Let's get to the video. What's up, folks? It's Matt from 3 Pound Fish. And hey, thought maybe I'd send out a quick little video, something I'm actually doing on my cell phone for the first time. I want to talk about Ozark rods. I want to talk about that change a little bit and uh, give you some feedback on these jigging poles. You now have three options with Ozark rods, and we're totally totally psyched about it so the change with Ozark rods didn't come easy we've talked about it maybe making a transition to them because at the end of the day we were listening to your comments at the end of the day it really just comes down to there can't be a one-size-fits-all scenario in crappie fishing you need options you need your super stiff you need your standard kind of mid what kind of what I've been fishing with up to this point in the pro series and then you've got your super sensitive jigging pole right here I think as a fisherman, you need a choice between all three. That is just one of the factors of us going with Ozark Rods. Quality, history, this company's been around a long time. We've got a new young owner, Blake Jackson. He's definitely gonna be taking this company to the next level. We've got a new website out. They're gonna have access to codes. But at the end of the day, I think one of the things that I enjoy most is not only the quality, but the choice that you have now as a crappie fisherman when you're going over these brush piles. Do you want stiff? Do you want the brush buster right here? Do you want the pro series, which is kind of what we've been, kind of a mid, good backbone, sensitive style, very light as well. Or do you need that super sensitive if you're gonna be flinging out floats, some jigs, um, is it a really, really light bite? You've got the jigging pole, this came out last year. It's a fantastic. So, um, me and Wade are extremely ecstatic about the change. There are just a lot of things that are coming down the pipe as well with Ozark rods that I'm very excited about. So the future is bright and we're looking forward to it. Uh, today what I'm going to do is kind of talk to you about each one of these rods and how I'm utilizing them. All of these rods are going to be in my boat. You're always going to see the brush buster you're always going to see the pro series and you're always going to see the jigging pole now i think my main go-to guy is always going to be the pro series right now it's in gray um, but i'll tell you when i'm in that when i'm fishing deep in that brush i'm going with the brush buster i need something strong and something to get in to that brush and have confidence it's going to get it out and i'll tell you what this guy is stout it's strong it's stiff but yet it's still got some feel to it and this is going to be that guy here but my everyday fishing fishing is going to be pro series i love this guy this is the go-to stick check it out at ozark.com and then last year they're very sensitive but strong extremely sensitive jigging pole this is wade's fishing pole you're going to see wade fishing a lot with this guy right here he loves the 11 footer in this guy uh it's kind of got a purple blue hue to it it's a beautiful looking stick so check it out the jigging pole and this came out uh beginning of this year i believe 2019 so three choices variety we've got a new young owner of ozark rods last year i believe it occurred and uh we're excited about the future with them they're they're supporting us on the trail they're doing a lot of great things for us and they have a lot of neat things coming down the pipe with ozark rods new rods new things new gear um the future is bright totally psyched so let's put some fish in the boat i'm going to start off with the brush buster i like this pole to me it's it's very similar to the pro series to be quite honest with you it's a little heavier you can feel that it's a little stiffer but at the end of the day it's gonna put fish in the boat and it's still got that sensitive feel that you've uh, you've come to want in crappie fishery hey do me a favor and subscribe let's put some fish in this boat right now it's a beautiful day it is overcast it's definitely got that fall feel in the air all right here we go we got the brush buster on a cell phone. I ain't done a video on YouTube on the cell phone in, well, I don't know if I ever have, to be quite honest with you. We're going old school. Wow, that was quick. Good fish too. Huh, all right, that is a solid eater. So that's the brush buster. This is a great fish. Right there, see 
if I can show it off good enough. For each one of these rods, I want to show you how much flux they truly have. Now, I, this is not scientific, the weight of the fish, how hard I'm pulling up. There's so many other factors that are involved here, but this is the stiffest rod that we've been talking about. This is the Brush Buster, and look how much flux it actually does have. So, very similar to Pro Series, but this is definitely the stiffest rod. That's about 11-inch fish. Uh, brush Buster, stiff yet sensitive enough to feel the bite. Without a doubt, a fantastic. Now, it's got that cool camo design. I don't know if you guys can see that well enough, but really, really cool camo design. So if you're into that type of thing, this is definitely your stick. I love it. It's always going to be in my boat. I'm definitely going to use it. What we're going to do next is going to bring out the Pro Series. Now, this is probably the stick that I'm going to use the most. It's just what I'm familiar with, and I just think it's a good balance of weight, sensitivity, and backbone. So, awesome. All right, here's the Pro Series gray it's kind of got the maroon accents right now and uh this 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 is definitely going to be my go-to cork handle stainless steel eyelets it doesn't get much better than this this is my go-to have several of them in my boat um but then again i think you need all of them i think the versatility of having three different style jigging poles in your boat is fantastic We've lost our way. We're off our point now. <laughs> so we're going to have to coast back. Beautiful day, just like fall, just like it should be. Uh, when I started fishing quite a while back, it was the fall days that got me sold on crappie fishing. Check out OzarkRod.com. There's also going to be a phone number I'll post down in the description. Of course, you can call them directly. You don't just have to go to their website. And uh, yeah, give them a holler. Here we go. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh man. All right, we're gonna hit spot lock that time so we don't get lost. All right, so again, nothing strange here. Great feeling rod. This guy, that's a, that's a solid 11 inch right there. All right, so I slowed it up again and freezed it here. Now this is the uh, Pro Series rod. So again, this is a good solid 11 inch fish. Um, not scientific, but there's your flex right there. Let's see if I can get down here in the film right there. Bam. Good day. Beautiful fish. Man, the fall bite, the fall bite has started. Uh, and I'll tell you, the fish are active. They're separating from the brush piles. And it's just that much easier to see them now, not only on live scope, but on side imaging and all of your electronics. So uh, don't forget guided trips this fall. Check it out. It really is a, an experience to be in the boat. We can talk about electronics, live scope, side imaging. I can go through any of the setups, things that you have questions about. Um, boom. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so the next pole is the jigging pole. It's available in 10 and 11s. I think they're also available in 12s, but 10 11s for sure. This is Wade's go-to. This thing is probably the most beautiful rod jigging pole right now. Uh, and I'll tell you, in terms of looks, I just love the purple and the blue hue. It just looks fantastic. Now, definitely the thing about this pole is that it's super sensitive. It's strong. It's got all the feel you could ever imagine. This is a fantastic rod if you're into the very sensitive rod. So the tip is going to bend a lot quicker. I think that if you have a really light bite, this is going to be your go-to guy. It's a beautiful rod. It's strong. It's got good backbone. Stainless steel, cork handle. Um, I'm actually debating this one or the gray one a little bit. I just like the gray one. I just, I, I really feel comfortable with the gray one, but I can tell you right now that I've used this guy an awful lot and uh, either one in my boat or they're always going to be in my boat, but either one doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but this guy is super sensitive, which I really like. Let's catch a fish. So right off the bat, I can tell you, it is extremely light, which is very nice. I mean, you could tell right away, uh, this is an 11 footer and it's still lighter than anything I've put in my hands ever. Wow, what that all happen on live scope. And another solid fish, another solid fish. Maybe more of a 10-incher, but 
Either way. Yeah, maybe more like a nine incher. <laughs> All right, so here's the jigging pole. There's the flex. Um, you know, looks good. Not scientific, but what can I say? Very sensitive. But either way, that shows the sensitivity. Hey, this pole is fantastic. So uh, consider all three. I'll tell you right, a brush buster, a pro series, a jig and pole right here, which is also part of the pro series, but it's just, we call it the jig, the jig and pole. Brush buster, pro series, jigging pole. You now have a chance and a choice when you're on these piles. So take advantage of it, it's awesome. I think I'm actually gonna stay with the jigging pole for right now. We're gonna go to a different spot and try some different stuff out. All right, here comes our pile. go that's a good fish right there that's a good fish I've seen Marcus I've seen uh, Wade everybody's been pulled in uh, big catfish and bass with this jigging pole so the idea that just because it's light it's not strong it's not true this is an extremely strong rod so check it out this is the jigging pole that's gonna end it for me today Please subscribe, 3 Pound Fishing. Go to 3poundfishing.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're over 8,000 subscribers, which is awesome. And uh, let me put my hat on. Right, here we go. Um, totally stoked about 2020. It's gonna be a great time. Enjoy the ride, and I really do appreciate everybody watching the videos. And uh, I'm enjoying those live feeds. So we're gonna do more and more of those live feeds. Thanks again. Let's do it.